Hey there, I'm Brian Hayes, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the unique count feature in Salesforce reports. This is one of those small features that's easily missed, but when you need it, you'll be really happy that it's there because it saves you a ton of time. It's pretty common in Salesforce that you wanna count the number of records that are in a report, but sometimes you wanna understand how many unique values are in a particular report. To give you an example, I've got a contacts report here that also lists the account of those contacts. Of course, I wanna know how many contacts are in my report, but I also wanna know how many accounts are in that report. I could group this by the account and then I could try and count up all the little slices, all the different groupings, but that's just not necessary. What I wanna understand is how many contacts do I have across how many accounts? The way to do that is to click the drop down arrow at the column header of the column where you wanna count the unique values and then choose show unique count. Select that and then click run and you'll see that we've got a new value in the upper left, not just total records, but also unique account names in this case. And I've got 46 contacts across 31 different accounts. Another use case where this comes in handy is if you're running a report on opportunities and products related opportunities. You can then see how many different products are being sold across however number of opportunities you have. I hope this quick feature saves you some time. If you wanna learn more about reporting and dashboards in Salesforce, consider taking our reporting crash course at academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching.